In the previous lecture, we essentially gave a relationship between resistance and resistivity of a conducting material. We said that the resistance is equal to the resistivity multiplied by the length of our conducting wire divided by the cross-sectional of that same conducting wire. Now, although resistivity is a constant and depends on the type of material that we are using, there is also a dependence on temperature. So resistivity also depends on temperature. So basically what happens at higher temperatures, the atoms and molecules within our conducting material are vibrating more quickly. And that vibrating motion will interfere with the flow of electrons when those electrons flow through our conducting material. So, basically our resistivity depends linearly on the temperature and that is given by the following equation. So, our resistivity at that particular temperature is equal to the product of the resistivity at some reference temperature multiplied by 1 plus the temperature coefficient of resistivity for that particular material multiplied by the difference in temperature. So, T naught is our reference temperature, T is the temperature at which we're examining the resistivity. So, our rho naught is the resistivity at the reference temperature given by T naught, and rho T is the resistivity at some temperature T that we're examining. And our alpha is simply a constant it's the temperature coefficient of resistivity that depends on the type of substance that we're examining. Now, once again, the resistance is equal to the product of our resistivity and the ratio L divided by A. So if we take this equation and multiply the left and right side of the equation by L divided by A, we get the following result. So our rho T multiplied by L divided by A is our resistance at that particular temperature given by T. While rho naught multiplied by A divided by, or multiplied by L divided by A is our resistance at our reference temperature given by R naught. So we basically rewrite this equation in the following format. The resistance of our conducting material at that particular temperature is equal to the resistance of that same material at some reference temperature multiplied by 1 plus alpha multiplied by T minus T naught. So let's use this equation in the following example. At 18 degrees Celsius, gold has a resistance of 150 ohms. When the temperature is increased to some unknown temperature, the resistance increases to 200 ohms. Calculate using this equation what the new temperature is knowing our alpha is equal to 0.0034. So, we basically take this equation, rearrange it, and solve for our T. The temperature at which our resistance is 200 ohms is equal to RT divided by R0 minus 1 divided by alpha plus T0. So T0 is given to be 18 degrees Celsius. Our alpha for gold is 0 0.0034. Our RT is 200 ohms. Our R0 is 150 ohms and we subtract the ratio minus 1 divided by alpha and add our temperature and we get about 116 Celsius is the temperature at which our resistance is given by 200 ohms. So once again, because when the temperature increases, the molecules within our conducting material move more violently, that movement of those molecules interfere with the motion of our electrons and that impedes the motion of electrons. So we see at higher temperatures, our our resistance is higher because our resistivity is higher.